Well, today we've decided that the local disaster management group will move to alert, which is a preparation stage. I think it's important that given the conditions around here that we take precautions to prepare people in case the conditions actually deteriorate. We know that the catchment is wet, we know that there's water in the creeks <clears throat> and we know that the effect that that could have if there was a, a fair bit of rain. Weather Bureau is forecasting further rain given that it may be isolated uh, we must be prepared for what might eventuate. So in doing so, we believe that it's very prudent to be prepared and we are preparing to look after people. Uh, we will have sand points where people would be able to fill sandbags to provide better protection. They will be in John Darien and Oakey where we believe probably the more difficult situation could arrive given the weather forecasts. In, in saying that, uh, we have been very fortunate to have the rain we've had. We uh, now have uh, getting towards 34% in our dams, given a slight rise in recent times. It's given us an extra two months of water with the water that's run in. We realise there are some road conditions that aren't uh, favourable, although at this point in time, it's the local roads that are the issue. The Highway 2 Normarin is still open, the Gore Highway, uh, that's lapping the bridge. We believe the peak of the uh, Condivine River is at Tummerville. It's, it's a minor flood level, and we're expecting the flood level to get to about six metres at Cecil Plains, all of which is manageable. So we just think that it's time for people to be aware. Uh, we don't want to scare anybody. This is simply about making sure that people take those precautions they need to take in case there is further rain and it causes deterioration. Um, we're happy to move to alert because it then gives everybody the opportunity to actually prepare for anything that might, might happen. So are there any questions? Um, Paul, what was the last time that we were on an alert like this? Look, I couldn't tell you exactly when that would be, but I think in terms of the flood alert, it's been quite some time now. We've experienced quite a bit of drought. And these are the precautions that we certainly didn't take on previous occasions. Uh, we weren't as prepared. We know now uh, what certain rainfall events could cause in our community. We have significant uh, work being done on predictive operations and so we would, we're in a good position to know now uh, before things actually happen or as soon as things happen what we need to do. This is about preparation, this is about uh, making sure that we are protecting our people. Paul, what's your message to residents in Oakey and John Darien? Well, look, Oakey and John Darien, it's not a matter of uh, being too worried about it at the moment. This is a precautionary thing. We need to make absolutely sure that uh, they are aware that given a difficult rainfall event, uh, they could have some issues that they need to face. Uh, so they're aware now, once this message gets out there, they'll be well and truly aware and uh, the minute it starts raining, we will ramp up whatever needs to be ramped up. Uh, what preparations has Council got in place at the moment? Well, we have uh, done some very early preparation in respect to an evacuation centre at Oakey and it also at John Darien, uh, just to make sure if we do need that, uh, sometime in the future, that's all prepared. Are we expecting it to get worse this week? Or Look, we don't really know. And I think one of the characteristics of this current rainfall is that it's quite patchy. And there are some areas uh, and within, there are narrow strips of heavy rain and that could uh, cause some grief for some people. I know that some of the people in the, on the farms and in certain areas haven't been able to get out for days at times because of flooding. But uh, we must uh, look after those people. And this is about a precautionary exercise to make sure that the people who are living uh, in, in the country areas or anywhere, in fact, are well aware of what could happen.